There's nothing that makes me feel more recharged in life than having a creative day. And what's interesting is I have tried a million times to stop myself from painting because I've told myself a million times, you're not very good at it. So since you're not very good at it, you shouldn't waste the resources. I am very aware of the amount of waste that it takes to use to be a painter. <laughs> um, I do mix in a lot of sustainable ways to try to not have so many tubes of paint that are used. But for the most part, I have tried to convince myself that I'm not good enough, so I shouldn't do it. But without fail, n nothing makes me feel more energized and more refreshed and like my cup is full again more than painting and so isn't it silly that I was going to not allow myself to do the number one thing that resets me isn't that silly <laughs> so I'm here to remind you that we make wonderful excuses in our brains to justify not doing things that we know help us and a lot of times those justifications seem really important because taking care of the planet right now is really important. So yes, it's important for me to try to find a mindful way to make art, but it's also important that I let myself play. And then I don't say because I don't think I'm good enough that I shouldn't paint. In fact, if I ask just myself, I like everything that I paint. <laughs> I really do. There's always a feeling behind it, emotion or some joyfulness, some inspiration from nature, lots of colors, and it's tapping into childlike wonder. And I like my art, but I downplay it every time I talk about it. I describe it as kindergarten art. And I'm going to stop doing that. Boopy the Rooster agrees, which, if you know, Steve's nickname was Boopy, so obviously Boopy the, Boopy the Rooster sometimes talking to me makes me feel like Steve's talking to me. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Boopy. I am going to make art. I'm going to attempt to sell it just so that I can fund making more art. But I'm also going to make art because of the delight that it brings me every time I allow myself to come be creative on canvas. And I'm happy. So, when I started to allow myself to identify as an artist, I started to grow as an artist. I started to internalize the way in which being an artist includes just the way you see the world. Finding beauty and inspiration in everything. I marvel at grass, at four leaf clovers, at the peepers peeping behind me. I notice everything. I pay attention to everything. I am forever open to inspiration. I'm tapped into the muse, which is nature, and just the world. And I think that's the best part about being an artist is recognizing the beauty and then trying to figure out how to express my appreciation and my understanding and my process with the beauty. And so when I actually started to allow myself to be an artist, I grew as an entire human because, <laughs> so dramatic, because I was finally allowing myself to express myself as fully as I wanted without worrying about what other people would think about me. And that's why my art is something that is so personal to me. I am going to be sharing it soon. I'm having my first show with my friend Troy with the side brand. And it's in May. Be oh, paying attention soon. I'll share all the details when it's time. But I have a friend who's helping me frame a lot of my artwork and it's just making them next level which I'm really excited about and I really feel like pieces are falling into place with me for me with me both work <laughs> and 
I also think that's like part of the zine process I'm working on. I'm working on two more zines on top of my first zine and I will have those all available soon and yeah I just think the more I have allowed myself to tap into my creativity the more has flowed through me and I feel grateful for the inspiration that I'm forever tapped into because I pay attention and I'm also grateful for the ways in which I was shown that if you're given a call you can't really ignore it because it's never just going to go away. And so thank you, God and universe, for forever guiding me back to what really fills my soul. I was going to say fills my soul, but feel it kind of came out and I really feel like that also works. So you're getting raw authentic me because whenever I get painty and messy two days in a row I just feel alive and that's what I'm feeling the most right now and I'm so thankful and I hope you all have something that you can tap into that gives you that and if you have something remove all your judgment when you're in that space because whatever you're creating is the magic to help heal and someone will resonate with it and if they don't then that piece was made for you. <laughs> Why do you think my art's everywhere? In my house, in my office. Uh, but also, it's in a lot of y'all's homes too. So thank you for always supporting me and understanding just how dear painting is to me and giving me a reason to spend this beautiful weather on a beautiful day off. I'm so, so, so thankful. I'm sending this energy to y'all. I promise. I hope you can feel it. <sighs> Love y'all.